What we're trying to achieve today is, is a few different things. We're trying to get threshold, the velocity at threshold, and also we're trying to get some uh, RER values, which basically gives us an understanding of where the crossover point from aerobic oxidative to anaerobic glycolytic is, um, which then gives me some feedback about how which we can change training to get the very best um, out of my athletes. So the, the important thing is having mechanical efficiency, which is what the stride helps us with and um, everything else is um, cardiovascular. So like in training and how we, we train, that's really easy to adapt that, but then we use the stride to get the mechanical side of it. So you get both of those two things together. Once they're combined and we can actually understand that, that helps us run off the bike more effectively. So we can do testing where we'll do sessions where we're actually running off the bike and actually add the stride into that. It gives us that information. Plus then we using those blood lactic to kind of test where our thresholds are and that just gives us a bit more efficiency. Seeing testing like this today is one of those things because like the word test for most people is like, oh God, it's a test. And because I want people to be enthused by it. Like, okay, let's see what we got. Like I actually want to go out and, and crush this, you know, be as efficient as possible. It's the same with racing. I don't want people to be like, oh, okay, I'll go to race. I want them to go out there and be like, yes, this is awesome. This is a challenge. I want to beat this person. I want to win. Like, like developing people to have that hunter kind of like um, mindset rather than being in a defensive mode, you know, looking across at everyone to be completely equals, not looking up and going, oh my gosh, like, where am I? Like, I don't belong here. They belong here. It was my job to give them the tools to be able to execute on the day that rise up and doing this kind of stuff today, along with like all sorts of other environmental pressures. And they're not real pressures. They're just, you know, we try and do subtle little things to make it as similar to racing as possible. And I think that's a key element to actually performing at a high level is doing things that replicate racing. And running is one of those things which I think people take for granted, but there's so many elements to run efficiency that we miss, that we don't get. And uh, even in training, like I think of run training, you know, a lot of athletes I work with have ran well in college for D1 schools, etc. And my job is to make them faster and a half. So, and they'll be able to do that off the bike. So that's been a huge, should be like huge, huge thing. And then having the clothing, closing speed towards the end of the race, you know, and how do you do that? Well, you can't do that unless you have like a full understanding of someone's um, mechanical uh, ability. And that's one of stride helps us do that. But 